Thank you all so very, very much. It's just such a great privilege to be able to welcome you to this place, which is roots of a fantastic city that we all love called Toronto. And by coming here today, I get the strong, strong sense that you're with me as I make this big effort to become the next mayor of the great and fantastic city of Toronto. Fueled by our knowledge and our ideas, and especially by the love and the passion that we have for our Toronto, there is no stopping us. And so it is left to me today, on this day, on this Super Bowl Sunday, when so many of you have come to express your support, I say thank you for your support. I'm grateful to receive it. And on October the 25th, if we've done our work well and we've summoned all of our passion, all of our energy, and all of our capacity, we will have led the people of Toronto forward and we will be on the path to get Toronto working again. Yes, we can! With the slip of this ribbon, we declare officially open George Smitherman campaign headquarters at 70, the Esplanade, Smile and we up. invite the people of Toronto to come and work towards a city that works again. All right, we're done. Come on in. Why are you supporting Smitherman? He represented me, he represented Epps, he represented the average person, the grassroots people. I just believe in the passion that he has, the, the true love that he has in his heart for Toronto. Thank you very much for coming. It means the world to me. Thank you so much. I'm here to support George because we need more uh, leadership in the city. We need to fix the TTC and there's a number of urban issues that he definitely can be a great help on. I can't wait to help you out, George. Yeah. We hope you do well. Are you smiling? Awesome. One more I think my campaign is it's important that it speaks to the issues. It's uh, obviously that's the challenge of leadership. Uh, my uh, strategy on the short term has been to spend a lot of time with councillors. There's a lot of enunciation of a left-right divide. I'm a candidate of the broad centre. And I think accordingly, I will be in a very, very good place to bridge to all members of council that's uh, seemingly uh, quite difficult from the current administration. What are your favorite areas in the city? Um, what, what are your favorite parts of Toronto? Well, I think that um, uh, as a lifelong uh, Torontonian, I've had a chance to discover uh, so many extraordinary parts of Toronto. I think about parks first and foremost when you ask me that uh, question. And I've had amazing experiences at parks all across the, uh, all across the city. It seems to me that Toronto, on a great lake, uh, should have a stronger beach and swimming culture than we do. And I know that we've, uh, we've uh, got some substantial issues to overcome there, but uh, I've had a chance to uh, visit some amazing waterfront uh, cities where uh, swimming and beach cultures are an even bigger part of it. And I think that uh, we have a lot of opportunities uh, that are not yet realized in a city like Toronto. My candidacy is uh, provoked by this idea uh, that uh, we can uh, reject uh, this uh, sense of powerlessness in favor of uh, seizing the opportunities that are ever present in Toronto. I think George Smitherman is really someone who can make stuff happen and I look forward to him and he's going to be safe for the campaign. And he's the oldest candidate in this municipal election and I'm, I'm here to support him all the way. I support George because he's done a lot for Ontario in terms of renewable energy. The Green Energy Act has become a model for other provinces to follow. I always support Smitherman. He is the man for any job we have in this 